apparently Tech Dead is good. So Southwest. Who would know that Windows 3.1 would be there to save the day? I don't know. Is this like confirmed? Yahoo links to a CNN article claiming like, oh, Southwest is, has 3.1. You go to the CNN article, they just said Southwest told CNN the outage hasn't impacted its operations. <laughs> so who knows where this information really came from. For anyone that doesn't know, if you're using Windows 3.1, there is not a CrowdStrike Falcon uh, sensor for that version of Windows. <laughs> so uh, you are uh, good to go. Uh, but also probably horribly insecure. So this is roughly, what, eight and a half million computers? I think the thing to note is that those 8.5 million computers are usually the most important computers. The other article I want to point out is the one that said, blame the dev who pressed deploy, not the one who wrote the code. I think in CrowdStrike's case, because of the nature of a driver on, in the kernel on 8.5 million endpoints, you need to have very close testing, validation, checks. Like, you can't just send it. DHS has a robot to DOS all of the Internet of Things in your house. Wow. Department of Homeland Security has a robot-like dog. Think of the old Boston Dynamics dog thing. It's pretty much meant to roll up to a house, take out the Internet of Things, like ring doorbells or cameras and that type of stuff. They do give an accurate explanation of an FBI raid that was in Florida where the person living there saw the FBI agents coming in and then killed two of them. There's been burglars that have been using DDoS technology in order to take down your um, front door cameras as well. Go old school. Yeah. Windows 3.1 and a hardwired camera. Uh, <laughs> we're done. We're safe. We're so safe. How many ransomware people got called into court? Three got arrested. Three got sentenced, I believe. And it's all from different threat actor groups, too, which is kind of pretty cool. Let's start with Tank. This is the leader of the Zeus malware gang. Two, I believe, nine-year uh, sentences, not consecutive. So he's going to have to serve 18, I believe. In order to pay more than $73 million. Can you imagine getting like $3 in the mail and it's like, your PC got malware 18 years ago. Here you go. <laughs> like, <laughs> so he was indicted in 2012. So it's been a minute. I mean, it's like the normal thing where they indict and then they have to wait for them to enter an extradition country he got caught in geneva in 2022 the other good one is uh coming from the uk scattered spider operator caught Ooh. uk police announced in a joint operation with the country's national crime agency the us fbi they arrested a 17 year old suspected of being connected to the ransomware group attack against mgm resorts last year same vein some charges against some lockbit actors. They pled guilty. There's so many criminals. DHS watchdog rebukes CISA and law enforcement training center for failing to protect data. It's pretty egregious if you actually look at the details of the article. They had a vendor that they were using for training and they have the actual findings. There's like a bulleted list partway through the article. Look at this stuff. This is ridiculous. I would say 80% of what we talk about on the show could be remediated by someone at some point being like, is this the right way to do things or should we maybe rethink this? There's a new ruling on the SEC versus SolarWinds case. They did not completely throw out the charges against their CISO. So he is still potentially liable. So that is still a major shift, you know, in terms of, if you guys remember, this is the first time a CISO has been put up for liability, particularly given that he's not actually on the board um, and therefore doesn't have a fiduciary responsibility to clients. Be careful about what you publish about your company's security posture because it might come back to haunt you the world's largest recreational boat and yacht retailer notified over 123,000 individuals whose personal information was stolen in March security breach. That would be an excellent list of whales to fish and try to get money off of. If you want all that information, it's on the dark web somewhere. There could be fallout from something like this, right? Like who has a yacht and says they don't? Who's using a shell corp to <laughs> buy their yachts? I hope a journalist takes it on and finds some fun little tidbits. Who doesn't want to see photos of inside of weird people's <laughs> yachts? Once again, someone has leaked <laughs> classified Russian tank information on War of Thunder. It's like every week. I think it's just marketing for the military. That's my opinion. <laughs> They're just leaking these documents so people want to go fly these planes and enlist in the air. So you're saying War of Thunder is a pure propaganda game. That's, that's why that's it's my, That's my conspiracy theory hot take. Theoretically, we could go get those user guides, right? And then drive a tank. See how to drive a tank by yourself. Turn to page 782. <laughs> Join us for live InfoSec news every Monday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Black Hills InfoSec YouTube channel.